Understanding the challenges that tropical coastal ecosystems face from climate change is important to any attempt to obtain a sustainable future for tropical coastal ecosystems. In this next section, we consider how tropical oceans are changing and how those changes are impacting or will impact on tropical coastal ecosystems. Let's start with the changes that have been reported in tropical oceans. Here are the major changes. Firstly, the average temperature of tropical oceans has increased by 0.7 degrees Celsius. At the same time, tropical oceans have become acidified by 0.1 pH units, with an approximate decrease in the concentration of carbonate ions of around 26%. While this has been occurring, oceans have been expanding and sea levels have risen by about 30 centimetres on average. In addition to these changes in sea temperature and pH, other aspects of tropical oceans have been changing. The first is that there is now more moisture in the atmosphere, which is leading to more intense rainfall events. This is a consequence of a warmer ocean leading to greater rates of evaporation into the atmosphere. For every degree of planetary warming, there is a 6% increase in the water holding capacity of the atmosphere. The second is that changes to ocean temperature are driving more intense storm systems. This contrasts with the fact that some regions are experiencing longer droughts due to climate related influences. While there is some discussion about whether or not the frequency of storms is changing, there is very strong evidence that the average storm is becoming more intense. The third change to tropical oceans is the fact that the water column is becoming more stratified, which is a consequence of warm water being less dense than cold water. This is reducing the amount of mixing in the upper layers of the ocean, a change which reduces the amount of nutrients uh, being supplied to the upper layers of the ocean. All of these factors are changing the conditions surrounding tropical coastal ecosystems. But are these changes enough to have an effect on tropical coastal ecosystems? Well, let's look at our three major ecosystems in turn. Mangroves are sensitive to changes in temperature with changes potentially modifying global mangrove distributions, extending them to higher latitudes. One of the barriers you see to the extension of mangroves to higher latitudes is the occurrence of frost. As high latitudes are warming, the frequency of days upon which frost occurs is decreasing, potentially removing one barrier to the expansion of mangroves to higher latitudes. Climate change is likely to affect other important variables when it comes to mangrove ecosystems. Changes to rainfall along coastlines can have a large influence on mangrove ecosystems. Similarly, droughts and changing lightning strike frequencies can change the fire regime associated with mangrove forests, leading to the loss of mangrove forests. In addition to affecting the delivery of nutrients, changes in rainfall can drive greater or lesser amounts of flooding, which can affect the delivery of sediments to estuarine environments. Sediment delivery represents an important component of the resilience of mangroves to factors such as sea level rise. Climate change is therefore also likely to affect nutrient availability, salinity, humidity and rainfall, all of which will have impacts on mangrove growth, resilience to sea level rise and processes that maintain carbon dioxide within rich muds associated with mangrove ecosystems. Climate change for tropical and subtropical areas also include stronger tropical hurricanes and cyclones with greater storm surges and extreme waves. Like coral reefs, mangroves provide important coastal services in terms of protection from storms and the stabilisation of sediments within coastal regions. Storms, however, can drive significant damage to mangrove forests with mortality of trees as high as 90% after storms in some regions. Many mangroves are actually incredibly resilient to storm damage, although defoliation can be an issue with effects not only on mangrove growth, but on the recycling that goes on within mangrove forests. 
The scientific evidence is somewhat equivocal on how mangroves are likely to respond to the changing levels of greenhouse gases uh, in the atmosphere. Some studies show that increased CO2 in the atmosphere can influence the growth and development and respiration of mangroves, while other studies show relatively small influences. Sea level rise represents a significant challenge for mangroves given their intertidal existence. Changes to sea level will push mangrove habitat landward with the expectation that mangroves are likely to follow these habitats. However, this is not always possible given coastal development and the existence of other ecosystems. In these cases, mangroves are likely to be victims of so-called coastal squeeze, being caught between a rising sea and human infrastructure barriers. Mid-range projections of changes in climate to tropical coastal areas suggest a potential loss of 10 to 20 percent of mangroves over the next 50 to 100 years. As with other ecosystems, these changes are likely to be far-reaching when combined with local factors such as deforestation and pollution. Seagrasses are also important components of tropical coastal ecosystems and provide ecosystem goods and services that have recently been estimated at $1.9 trillion per year in the form of nutrient recycling, primary productivity, habitat for thousands of fish and bird species, and as a major food source for endangered manatee, dugong and green turtles. Like other tropical coastal ecosystems, Seagrasses are being heavily impacted by human activities such as coastal development and intensified coastal agriculture. Seagrass ecosystems do not do well in high levels of nutrients, which promotes fouling by epiphytes. In addition to these pressures, seagrass ecosystems are sensitive to elevated temperatures, sea level rise and coastal inundation, as well as the impacts of stronger storm systems aggregated flooding, which tend to disrupt the otherwise quiet habitats in which seagrasses tend to grow. A recent analysis has shown that the rate of decline of seagrasses has accelerated from 0.9% per year before 1940 to 7% per year since 1990. This places seagrass meadows as one of the most threatened ecosystems in the ocean. Now, unconfounding the role of climate change from changes due to coastal development and declining water quality is inherently difficult. Review the information on the impacts of climate change on mangroves and seagrasses and take the following quiz.